Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin sharp reversal from my target, my first target to the upside. So we have five waves to the upside. With this move, a larger top could be in. Um, we don't have enough price data yet to really fully confirm it. And also we don't have enough price data yet to confirm if really a substantial top has formed. Um, let me go to the daily chart to explain to you what kind of top we expect, but I warned earlier today in one of the signals to our gold members that a sharp reversal has to be expected from the current price region, um, ideally only after 50k is reached, but the 48,000, whatever that was here, this level was mentioned obviously in the first video today and also in my first signal today as minimum target for this fifth wave. So we have a sharp reversal. Why sharp reversal? Because the move up was likely a diagonal and this is it. The thing is, you know, you have to expect a sharp reversal when the move up is a diagonal, but it's never guaranteed. Okay, so in this case it is here. So on the daily chart, for anybody who doesn't know our count, we expected one more high. This one more high could have topped now. And that means that either now wave A has topped or wave three has topped. What is now the main support level? The main support level is pretty much unchanged, I think. The new main support level for trend continuation higher in the more bullish white count is 34,985. That means this level really needs to hold for trend continuation higher. This is the A wave, sorry, this is the wave four support um, that really needs to hold to give us a fifth wave and to stay within the more directly bullish scenario. If we see a break below it, then we have this A, B, C in the, in the yellow count. And we're gonna test the green support area below, which I will adjust now. It has to be adjusted a bit. It's not gonna be that much of a drop. It, we have support that starts at 31,560. They are two different wave counts. Um, one only, uh, let's say, shallow pullback. But again, I'm not saying we have to come down to 35K. It could literally be another wave four sideways correction that might simply reach 41,810 or 37,885. Okay, so this is shallow pullback scenario rally. If we see a break below 35K and there will be some other clues maybe along the way, it is gonna be the yellow count. So is it guaranteed this happens now? No, not yet. Let's first take a look at the shorter time frame. It's possible. So it's important to understand that now the minimum requirements for this one more extension higher are fulfilled. And it is, a, however, possible that this fifth wave, which fulfilled minimum requirements now, extends. So we want to understand what is the level that needs to break to basically be able to not rule out an extension, but to understand, you know, to, to at least communicate that it has a very low likelihood. And that support level is 42,553. So first of all, let's take the yellow count off the chart. Well, this extension, because that's, you know, we have five waves up. So I have to assume that possibly wave five has topped it can't be a high B wave anymore. Well, it could theoretically, but we have five waves up now. And okay, let's assume wave five has topped because minimum targets are reached. Then we would see a breakdown now to that larger support area I just showed you on the daily chart. However, first of all, let's, let's now change that to yellow. Things have moved on. However, we can get an extension these five waves could only be wave one of wave five. In that case, we would probably see them extend a little higher and it would likely form something like this. Wave one, wave two, wave three, four, five. Let me change the wave degree. And that can take us eventually to 50K plus, but there's a level that needs to hold for that. All I can say is that I think we, we have the potential now that a more 
substantial top has formed, okay? So until now, you know, in this entire move up, we were watching for one more high. This happened. Now it's like, okay, it can extend, but our minimum requirements are now fulfilled. That means we have to watch the support level very, very closely. So in this wave two pullback now, this could be an A wave, this could be a B wave, this could be a C wave. Let me reduce the size of the Fibonacci level or these, you know, let me just leave these on there just in case. But um, that's sort of what I what I watch for now, what I'm watching for. It's basically support is 42,553. If that level breaks, I have to assume that wave five topped. Yeah. At the moment, potential for another extension. If there is one, then from this area. But it's difficult to say... I would like to have a, th a clear three wave move to be able to, you know, give you a little bit more clarity about that. Literally, this sell off just happened. Shouldn't be a surprise for anybody who followed our gold membership, given that I pointed out there should be a sharp reversal ahead. Um, again, you can never predict it, but you can expect it, watch for it, but it's never a guarantee. But we know that after diagonals, sharp reversals happen, and then the A wave is typically quite sharp. Let's see if we get a B and a C, and then. This is support 45,721, 44,772, 43,843, 42,553. Okay, so they are the parameters to watch for the rest of today, I'd say. And yeah, if we see a continuation higher now, this is likely going to be, to be the third wave. And there should be resistance at 50k, but it could take us higher. That's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, like, for example, NVIDIA or Tesla, then check out our stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.